Our population consists of children with very significant um, cognitive and physical delays and of course medically fragile diagnosis. We function just like any other school in the system. Uh, the, the children come off the buses, they begin their day with breakfast, they, um, they do morning announcements themselves with their little communication devices. We have students go around to take up attendance and lunch count. So we, we teach our, our subject areas just like everybody else. We have PE, we have music, we have library. We function just like all the other schools do. We make everything a learning experience. Everything has to be hands-on with our kids because of their physical limitations. We do usually a month about 1,200 tube feedings a month. We give over 900 medicines a month if most of them are well, and if not, we give more. We have seven nurses who are just wonderful. They, they want to be here. They take care of the kids. It's just a wonderful nursing staff. I would say we are a big family, all of the staff, faculty, and children. Um, we love each other. As crazy as we all are, we love each other. We take care of one another. We celebrate together. We mourn together. We plow through and, and, and work together to, to help find these children's communication needs and help them to meet their goals every single day. These are the most beautiful children in the system. I, I tell everybody who comes in here, you have not experienced love and joy until you've been here. There's, I don't think, a student in this school who is expected to live past two days, and some not even hours. And we graduate classes of children age 21 every single year. So anytime someone comes into this building, they are truly experiencing what a miracle is. We love our children, and they're just like any other student in Montgomery Public Schools. We're just a little bit different. We just learn differently, and um, we're just like any other teacher in the public school system. We just have a little bit more fun. I used to tell the students that came through from the nursing schools when I would talk to them that everybody thinks that Disney World is the happiest place on earth. They're wrong. This is it. This is it for me. Um, and I get emotional because I do love these kids. These parents and these children, they face things that most of us never have to face in our lives. And it's with a, a heart of gratitude that I have right now for being allowed to be here and take care of these kids. They're unique, everyone is unique, everyone has their abilities and their disabilities, and it's our job to make sure that they're healthy enough to reach their fullest potential, and that's what we're all about. CCA.